Hi everyone, I'm Mark Rosenthal with you on this Thursday afternoon. We're recording this just before 3 o'clock. The sun's out. It's windy in Boston. Temperatures in the 40s. But I'll tell you folks, we have some major changes coming Two storms. The first storm for Boston is going to be weak tomorrow, but I still think we're going to get socked here on Tuesday. So let's get into it and check out the weather headline. Snow will make it to Boston. Probably not as much as we thought earlier, but still we'll cover the ground and then bitter cold to follow. I think several inches of snow from the New England south coast of Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Cape Cod, where there could be a half a foot of new pottery snow by late Friday night. Then bitter cold weather will follow for Saturday. Then a major snowstorm seems likely for Tuesday, Tuesday night in the early Wednesday. Notice how the cold is just building up in central Canada right now where we see temperatures 10 to 15 degrees below zero. That's going to unload across New England in slightly modified form late Friday night and Saturday with a strong northwest wind. But storm number one, as we put this into motion, is moving into the Plain States right now. That's going to be racing east, throwing clouds in here late tonight, and that burst of snow coming into Boston by early tomorrow morning. It could affect the morning commute, certainly areas off to the south in southwest of Boston. But also notice moisture back in the Pacific Northwest, combining with moisture coming out of Mexico. These two features are going to join hands and form one heck of a storm on the mid-Atlantic coast late Monday night and Tuesday, and that's going to be a big problem. But again, storm number one, as we look at the latest radar loop, you see a little swath of snow and rain into western Pennsylvania, back in Ohio and the Great Lakes. There's another little patch up around north in South Dakota that'll join hands that's going to streak rapidly east. So there's going to be a very tight temperature contrast between the Arctic air to the north and the warmer air to the south. And I think those dynamics get played out mainly to the south of us, but we will tap some of it. So as we look at the weather map at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, a wave of low pressure is moving fairly far south of New England, but the key gets into the accumulating snow as they do in Long Island up to about Providence, where I think it's a plowable snowstorm. Bitter cold air again waiting in the wings is going to be spilling in here by late Friday night with strong northwest winds. Now let's jump ahead. This is the weather map for 8 o'clock Tuesday night. There is one heck of a gale center well south of Nantucket moving off to the northeast intensifying all the time and with cold high pressure in eastern Canada the winds are going to be picking up from the northeast gusting over 50 miles an hour an old fashioned nor'easter coming for Tuesday, Tuesday night into early Wednesday. Now this snowfall map is off the Europe pan in the lighter pink, it's about a foot and a half of snow. The whiter zones around Cape Cod Canal could be getting closer to about 20 to 23 inches. Incredible stuff happening here, folks. So we have a lot to follow. Let me just run down quickly the forecast for you. For Boston, for the balance of the afternoon, it's sunny and windy. Temps in the mid-40s. Northwest winds up to 40 miles an hour, slowly dying down. Increasing clouds and cold over down to the upper 20s. Snow will break out early tomorrow morning. It'll be cold. Temps near freezing. I think the the worst of the snow in Boston is done about 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but the ground will be covered white. And then there could be a brief snow squall tomorrow night as an Arctic cold front comes through. Temps falling into single numbers with a harsh northwest wind. And on Saturday, it's partly sunny, windy, very cold, though 20s. And on Sunday, it's sunny and cold in the upper 20s. That's my forecast. Thanks for checking in. Please stay tuned for updates. I'm Mark.